John Berg approached me about entering into the Lead Time Leader Award contest. And at the time it wasn't on my radar. And it was actually really good because it allowed, allowed my team and myself to kind of get your head out of the sand a little bit, right? And, and, and look back on what we've been doing for the last number of years and recognize that we have an incredible staff. You recognize them, some, of the, some of the people you've been working with and how hard they've been working. And it's really good to be recognized uh, for myself and the team. We're very passionate about this plastic that we get, right? <laughs> it's, it's kind of a big deal. I mean, you'll, you'll find us, if someone throws a part in front of us, I mean, we all pick it up and we're all looking, you know, how's this one gated and looking for the actions and look at that knit line and stuff like that. But that's really what we're asked to do, you know? Yeah, our team is really a kind of a cross-section of, of our space in the industry. We have um, people from the molding side of the business working here. We have the tool makers on the floor. We have the engineers, the designers. You know, all the way through, we even have people in, in metrology that understand that well. This is something that we all enjoy, you know, and uh, I think that rings through on, on, on how we interact with our customers. Yeah, engineering is a huge part of what we do here, and I think that's also changed a little bit as far as what we were. We were initially just, how can we engineer your tool, right? What's the thing that we can provide that makes you even more money than when you would go to a normal or an everyday tool builder, right? So we're trying to provide a solution from the beginning to the end, whether that be cost savings because they can run that tool much longer, knowing that you know some some product lives are decades. At the end of the day, how, how much more can we get out of that tool? How can we change your automation to get more throughput? How can we change your cycle times to get more throughput? Our customers, uh, it's real common for them to call us up and say, hey, you know, Ken or whoever, can you take a look at this? We're having trouble with this on the floor. And, and uh, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily mean they got an RFQ waiting for us to work on, but, you know, they just have come to know us that, that we pr can provide solutions. So it's nice when they do that. We want to be their first call. The biggest change I've seen is the people. Uh, when I started here six years ago, we were at about 60 employees and now we're up to 85. Definitely the biggest benefit and challenge of, of what we've seen over the last six years. Bringing in all of those new people, I would accredit that to Steve. People trust him. He's, he's known in the industry. He's got a great reputation. He's an incredible tool maker and people want to work for him. As you, your journey through tool making, it doesn't end. You, you not only build molds, but eventually you create molds and you engineer molds. So you need to understand the fundamentals to be able to create. And that's, and that's where we, we want to carry on the tradition and teach so that we, we are manufacturing in the United States. So getting experienced tool makers isn't the easiest thing to do anymore. I mean, everybody's kind of set in their ways, the guys get out of their trade. So what we've done is we've, we're in partnership with some of the local technical schools. There's two that we're real close with. We get tours, people come to see us, and it's more exposure at the end of the day. So we do an open house every spring, normally in March or April. And at the end of the day, if someone walks out and they're like, I now know what tool and die is, that's a win. My job is to download everything that I know to the young generation. And the only way you can do that is by experiencing that. So you can't teach some stuff because you have to live it. So behind us, we have five Makino EDMs. They have the best technology to offer us in our situation. So in addition to the five Makino EDMs, we have a CMM, as I had mentioned, a hexagon metrology, which is thermally compensated to make up for any differential change in the ambient air temperature. And with that, we have a clean station back there that again gives us the ability to keep everything inside of the south. Um, with all that, we have three people only to run all that equipment, and that's the programming, the setup, uh, the teardowns, and all of that. In our hard cutters, we had a handful of robots that were just feeding one machine at a time. And then from there, it was, all right, what else can we do to improve this? And that's when we started playing around with the rail system. You know, now you don't have to buy five robots to automate five machines, it's one robot and you spend a little bit more on the rail and some racking. And then from there it was, well, what if we put the CMM on there? For over 20 years now, we've, uh, we've been experiencing the industry consolidation. Our experience level is not growing. The know-how is getting smaller, right? So as it gets smaller, we have to really consider and how do we actually provide this to our customers? And not only for us, it's getting smaller, but for our customers, when they go to try higher people with that talent level, 
it's not out there, not as easy to get. So they really depend on a company like ourselves, the vendors, to have that experience and know-how. And, and as we, we look at that part of it, we know that we have to look seriously at, at how we're going to be able to deliver that. I've just been blessed with a, a, a great team of people that have the passion to, to, to provide solid molding solutions, right? It, it starts with, a, you got to be able to design a robust tool, right? you got to pick the right materials. You need to know when to use coatings. Thermal management, that's engineering stuff, and we've got that in spades. And we've got veterans, and we've got young talent. So we're evolving. But at the end of the day, what differentiates us from everybody is we're a company of journeyman toolmakers run by journeyman toolmakers. That is what we hang our hat on. And the pride that comes with a job well done, a mold that's hit 20 million cycles. We live for that. And, and we're not distracted by the other things because our leadership all the way through the shop, our apprentices, they all know what we're here to do. Every step we take is meant to take the mold making industry and dynamic into the future.